Good morning student. I am your Stephen sir from Ikra English Medium. Today I am going to teach you subject English standard 12th and the book will be Flamingo textbook chapter number 1 the last lesson. So this lesson is written by Alphonse Dodit. So about the author today we will discuss Alphonse Dodet 1840 till 1897 was a French novelist and short story writer The last lesson is set in the days of a Franco-Persian war 1870 till 1871 in which France was defeated by Persian led by Bismarck Persia then consisted of what now are the nations of Germany Poland and parts of Austria In this story the French district of Alsace and Lorraine have passed into Persian hands Read the story to find out what effect this had on life at school So basically my dear student this chapter is all about a place where there was a war and due to that war that place means what uh, where their france people were staying they have to leave their own place and some other country people have taken over the place and due to that reason what effects can we see in, in that particular area we will see in this chapter so basically it affects the school most so let us see i started for school very late that morning and was in great dread of a scolding especially because m hamel had said that he would questions us on particles participles and i did not know the first word about them so in this few lines you can see the story starts with a boy he gets up very late in the morning as as you all are a student and you know very well that you have to get up early in the morning to reach to the school at 7:25 sharp so what happened that day this boy woke up very late and he was tense and he was here you can see in a great dread of what is this this meaning in a great dread of means dar jana in a great dread of means dar jana kyu dar jana because if he will be late his class teacher will scold him who is his class teacher m hamel is his class teacher and there was another thing there was a test in the class where m hamel was going to ask about the grammar participles and i did not know the first word about them so this boy is saying that he was nothing knowing about this participle for a moment i thought of running away and spending the day out of doors so what this boy thought let me get ready for the school but i will not go to the school and i will bunk the school it was so warm so bright the birds were chirping at the edge of the woods so what here it is showing that the climate was very nice it was very warm climate it was very bright birds were chirping chirping means birds were chirping chirping means chidiyo ki awaze and in the open field back of saw mill the persian soldiers were drilling and there was a maidan 
यू कैन सी देर वॉज अ फील्ड एक मैदान था जहाँ पे जो सोल्जर्स थे उन लोग ड्रिलिंग कर रहे थे यू नो वट इज ड्रिलिंग पर्शियन सोल्जर्स क्या कर रहे थे ड्रिलिंग कर रहे थे ड्रिलिंग मीन्स सावधान विश्राम सोल्जर्स लोग एक साथ चलते हैं वो सब दैट इज नोन एज ड्रिलिंग वो कहाँ पे हो रहा था इन द फील्ड फील्ड बैक ऑफ द सोमिल इट वॉज ऑल मच मोर टेम्पटिंग देन द रूल फॉर पार्टिसिपल तो ये सारी चीज़ों से ज़्यादा रूल ऑफ पार्टिसिपल से ज़्यादा उसको ये सारी चीज़ें टेम्पटिंग लगती है टेम्पटिंग मतलब ध्यान ज़्यादा उस पर जाता था किस पे ज़्यादा ध्यान जाता था चिरपिंग बर्ड्स के ऊपर फिर पर्शियन सोल्जर्स के ऊपर जहाँ पे ड्रिलिंग हो रही थी वो बोल रहा था कि ये पार्टिसिपल से तो अच्छा है so this was our first video thank you so much